Hey, what's up, what's up, everybody? Man, I know it's been a minute since I shared something directly with you guys in this group. So I figured for my welcome back to actually going in the books with you guys, a good a good welcome back would be to my latest book that I published, My Beautiful and Loving Wife by Matthew Daniels. If you haven't got this book, I'm going to tell y'all, you may want to go out and go get it. It's at dandyandbigherm.com, and it's also available on Amazon.com. But what I wanted to do is just read y'all a small excerpt out of here, just so y'all can see how deep your boy really went. Because, you know, if I'm writing a romance story, a love novel for my wife, I'm going to try to dig deep, right? And And I think at certain points within the book, I achieved my goal to actually express myself in um in a profound way that would make my wife's heart melt. And so I want to share that with some of y'all. And uh what we're gonna go to is uh page one hundred and one hundred and one in the book. And I said Raquel is the kind of woman who is as rare as a precious hold on, that camera kind of fog. I want y'all to see that. Give me just a second. I need y'all to read along with me. Man, that may be as good as it's going to get. All right. Raquel is the kind of woman who is as rare as a precious stone, but not just any old precious stone that can be found upon planet Earth if one were to search hard enough. Now, I'm talking about a precious stone that can only be found on an asteroid wandering through space with no clear orbit or set trajectory tossed here and there by gravity's tug from multiple celestial bodies throughout the universe, impossible to predict with any degree of accuracy. So, this rare stone, which is the analogy for my beautiful and loving wife, Raquel, is the rarest stone of all. And I am like a man, a man like trillions of other men, a man who could have been born at any point in time, in any place on earth, and a man who could have grown to do anything available for a man to do. And as I go about my day, doing that which I have grown to do, a noise in the sky causes me to look up. And when I look, I see a bright fire in the sky, seeming to head right towards me. In an instant, there is a crash, and my doings as a regular man are interrupted. Upon investigation, I realize that what has crashed down to earth right in front of me is an asteroid. Upon further inspection, I, as a regular man in this analogy, comes across the rarest, most beautiful stone in all of the universe. And once I acquire that stone, my life is forever perfect from then into eternity. Now, I know exactly what I was trying to say when I wrote that because I'm the writer. But what I want you guys to do, whoever just listened to me read that, tell me in the comments what point you think that I was trying to make about my beautiful and loving wife. And I'll let you know if you're correct or not. So uh, I hope you guys leave a comment. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and if you want to get the book, go to dandyandbigherm.com. You can get a signed copy. And you can also get it from amazon.com. Just type in my beautiful and loving wife by Matthew Daniels. Y'all go get this book. I'm telling you, it's the greatest love story ever written. <laughs> I mean that. Y'all have a good one, man. Hotel, may your name live on forever, and may your memory never die.